As built for AutoCAD. Tutorial Steel. After this tutorial, you will be able to add steel to an active set. Fit steel beams to the point cloud. Copy beams, extend beams, and align and export beams. Start by opening the tutorial underscore plant drawing file. Select the scan position labeled recap pt1 underscore isbl underscore s111. Click the scan nav on command. Note, scan navigation can also be activated by double clicking the scan label. Uncheck the transparency box to see the dense point cloud. From the As Built Plant ribbon, click Edit Plan Model command. Select the Steel Catalog from the drop down menu and click the Right Shift Operator command to move the steel items to the active set. Now we have steel and CS300 piping under the active set. Click OK. Click Fit Beam and in the Insert Steel dialog click Detect Type. Click two points on the same face of the steel beam. On this dialog you can see the cross section of the points in the green area. The software automatically suggests the best match for the beam. Click the Insert Beams of this type to accept the selected beam. Click the Extend option on the command prompt to extend the current beam. Next, click the endpoints to extend the beam. Click the Finish option on the command prompt to return to the previous command prompt. Now, the beam has been fit to the point cloud. Again, click Detect Type and pick two points on a horizontal beam. You can drag the left mouse button to erase data that is affecting the results. Click Recalculate to update results if needed. You can click the Use This Type command to specify the desired beam shape. Click Insert and pick two points on each beam. Click the Finish option on the command prompt. Click Close. Check the transparency box to see the beams as they sit on the point cloud. To close the gaps in the beams, click the Extend Steel to Steel command from the As Built Plant ribbon. Select all the beams and press Enter. Then select a point on the vertical beam to extend all the horizontal beams. Using native AutoCAD commands, you can also copy, mirror, or array any beams you have already placed in the drawing. These beams will be marked with a green sphere. This is to specify these beams are not fitted yet but will be automatically fit when ready. Press Escape to finish the copy command. To start the fitting, click Fit Beam in the ribbon, then close in the Insert Steel dialog, then Yes. The algorithm will automatically fit the beams. Uncheck All Points in the Section Manager. Use the Extend Steel to Steel command to close the gaps on both sides of the horizontal beams. Go to the As Built Modeler ribbon and click the Scan Nav Off and Hide Scan Labels command. Navigate to the Steel Beams. Notice that these beams are best fit to the point cloud and do not look perfectly straight. To fix this, go back to the As Built Plant ribbon. Click Apply Constraints for Steel. Here, you can change the tolerance parameters as you desire but for this example, we leave them as they are. Click Select Beams. Select all beams and navigate to the beams to have a better view. Now you can see that the beams are aligned and at 90 degree angles. They fit perfect design conditions. Select a beam and right click to select Properties. The beam is a Cubit Plant Beam proprietary custom entity. AutoCAD must have as built in it to see this object type. We want to export the beams as AutoCAD solids. Click the Export command and under Steel ensure that everything beneath AutoCAD objects are selected. 
Note that there are other export options like SDNF and to intelligent advanced steel objects. Ensure the Erase As Built Plant Objects After Export option is selected. Click OK. Select all the beams and press Enter. The green color shows that all beams are connected. Review all connected objects and press Enter to continue. Let's look at the results. Select one of the beams and review the properties. You can see that it is an AutoCAD solid and can stand alone in AutoCAD apart from as built. When we remove one of the solid beams, you can see the defined beam axis with a text tag that displays the type and the size of the beam. If you are doing linear drawing for your structure, you may obtain that information quickly. In this tutorial, you are shown how to add steel to an active set, fit steel beams to the point cloud, copy beams, extend beams, and align and export beams.